This is the real Tom Rose, and we're dealing with a counting problem. Um, the reason why I call this a counting problem is because we're trying to figure out how many possible ways we could generate the three-digit numbers the, that we've been asked for, right? So we're going to make a list of three-digit numbers. And at the end of the day, we want to know a probability that we'll pick 635. But probability is equal to the success cases over total cases. And we've been told that we pick 635, which is just one specific scenario. So the real question is, how many total cases are there of numbers that we could pick? Now, there's a lot of simplification that we can do on this set of numbers that are that's really going to help us out. First of all, we're picking a we have six six numbers um, to choose from one, two, three, four, five, and six, and we're filling up a three digit number. And one of the things the problem says is the first digit of the number is always six. So we're guaranteed to put a six in here and the six has already been chosen. So that's really not even part of our problem. We don't even have to count that. Um, all of the numbers will have a six and the six will always be chosen. It'll always be chosen first. So we're really picking a two digit number from a list of five numbers because the six is set in stone. Okay, after that, we're also guaranteed to pick the five. There's some question as to whether the five goes in the left side or the right side, but the five will always be picked. So the only question that really remains is, which of the four numbers will be chosen. So let's count let's start counting here. If we put the 5 in the left side, let's let's do both scenarios. So we'll do 6 5 blank or we might have 6 blank 5. Right? Those are the two scenarios for dealing with the 5. And for each one of those, there are four options for the remaining number. Right, and I'll actually fill them in. We could do one, two, three, or four. One, two, three, or four. So the total number of, and I'm not filling these in, but of course, these are carried on, right? The six and the five is a given in each of these scenarios. And all that remains is for us to simply to count the number of three digit numbers that we've created. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is the number that we'll plug in to our fraction when we're dealing with probability to get the answer one eighth, which is answer choice B.